Hey guys, welcome back and today we're going to be playing some Clash Royale. So as you guys know, recently in Clash Royale, I am actually a level 8 player. I have been pushing, pushing, pushing through the Royal Arena recently and currently right now I'm sitting at 2,704 trophies. So today we are going to be opening up the chest that you can see below and we will also be doing some live attacks. In these attacks, I do want to showcase to you guys my uh, my deck, the Free Spell, Inferno Tower, Minion Horde, Arrows, gob Spear Goblins, Knight, the Hog Rider, and the Bomber. And I, if I had to name this deck, I would name it the Counter Attack deck. This deck is all about countering a counter attacking somebody and then rushing them really quickly to get one crown. Obviously, three crown is you know would be nice, but really this deck isn't very good at three crowns. But uh, yeah, so first things first though, we are going to open this chest. So we're gonna start off small and go to big. So we're gonna start off with this free chest here, musketeer, mini or not really too much. Then our next free chest here, gold. Valkyrie, that's pretty good. Archers, just really donate. <laughs> a balloon from a free chest. And we can level it up, actually. And, you know, wow. Wow, I'm actually gonna level that up. Huh. Just got a balloon from a free chest. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now let's get on to our silver chest. Silver chest number one here. Gold. Spirit goblin. Or goblins. Normal goblins. That's pretty good. Uh, Tesla, don't really use that. Uh, more gold, the mini P.E.K.K.A, never plan on using that really, and the uh, Spirit Goblins, that's good, we do use the Spirit Goblins in our deck. So now for the Magical Chest, I actually got this one yesterday, so let's open it. Alright, so let's, uh, alright, some gold, 700 gold, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, 8 Barbarians, don't really use the Barbarians, but I guess that's okay. Alright, Royal Giant, don't use that at all. Mortar, don't use that and don't plan on using that. Arrows, arrows are good. We do use arrows. Rare, all right, we got four goblin huts. That's, nah, we don't really use a goblin hut. 13 elixir collectors. Don't really use that. And for this final card, mirror. Three epics, mirror, huh? I, I guess I'll take that. Uh, kind of was hoping for the dark prince or one of the legendaries. Those are the only three cards that I still need to unlock here. If you actually look. All I have left is the Dark Prince and then the two legendaries, the Ice Wizard and the Princess. Hopefully one day I will unlock those. And uh, yeah, so we're actually going to go and do some battles. Hopefully we can unlock our crown chest here and uh, showcase our deck. So, battle number one here. Who are we going to get matched up against? Alright, a level 8 player will shoot him a good luck. Basically at the same trophy count as us. Interesting starting. Alright, I think we're gonna start off with just these spear goblins. I usually don't do that. I haven't been doing that recently, but Alright, he's gonna start off What is all right? We're actually gonna <laughs> look at this play. We're actually gonna drop our inferno tower and the cannon can't even hit that's actually pretty funny um, If he doesn't drop anything, we'll just come in with the hog right? He's not gonna drop anything. All right, let's go with the minion oh, minion uh, Come on Hog Rider, get in there. Oh, Inferno Tower. That's a inter very interesting card to play, actually. And our Inferno Tower actually took it out. That is pretty cool. So you only have around 200 damage on his right tower there. He does have a Collector just pumping away. Definitely want to uh, take care of that if we can. All right, he dropped another Collector. So we're going to start building up a push here. Uh, all right. So we're gonna start off with the knight going to drop some spear cop oh that cannon because ah oh, dang that's actually really really annoying i right, got the free spell i'm going to just freeze all that and he's actually going to come in with a uh hog rider huh that's he hasn't played the hog rider yet that's actually pretty interesting our hog rider they're going to do some pretty good work going to get his tower down to about a uh 10 hundred a 1,000 hit points. Our tower is sitting at uh, 1,500 though, so uh, pretty, still pretty fair here. Hopefully, we can just pick out that pick at that tower, and we will definitely be able to win this. Uh, cannon. That is a really, really annoying cannon because the cannon will. Uh, is two pumps though, so I can't just. All right, that's a fair play. We're gonna just let our knight die there. Really, no point in trying to protect it. All right, uh, double. Health. All right, we're gonna drop our inferno tower and the bomber there just to help those guys out and he froze it Wow, that is 
Really annoying, really, really annoying. Did not know that he had the free spell, but we are going to actually counterattack him in a second here. Look at this push that we got. If he drops an Inferno Tower, I will be very, very sad. All right, we got a pretty, pretty nice push going on right now. Going to just freeze that minion horde since we don't even have a counter. Our hog rider, don't know what he's doing. Um, 1,800 hit points, that's not too good. Uh, come on. Is he gonna freeze? Yeah, he will freeze, okay. Very, very expected freeze spell though, not really too surprising there. Um, is he gonna get a hit off? It will get one hit off, all right. Just looking at our hand right now. Hmm. I don't know about this one, guys. Uh, God, he just has all these defending cards, and they're really, really annoying. Oh, God, we missed that. Completely missed that. All right. Only got three minions from that. All right. I know he is going to freeze us in a second here. Yeah, really very surprising. All right. We're actually going to drop the minion horde. Oh, my God. He predicted. Dang. Oh, he beat us. Oh, I should have won that, too. Dang, alright, so it looks like game one here will go to Marks, man. He's going to drop us 30 trophies, but it's okay. Let's go out again. Let's try and win us another game here. Level 9, 800 trophies below us. That is just great. We'll, get, we'll shoot him a good luck, though. Always good to be a good sport in this game. Alright, so we're actually going to start off with some Spirit Goblins on the left side there. I would start them... What the hell? Stupid storage. Um. Alright, I think we're just going to do that to see... How what he plays, and he's actually going to play a cannon and a dragon. All right, all right. Looks like his dragon will get to our tower, but the dragon, since it's a splash, it really doesn't do that much normal damage. So no need to really try and counter that. All right, dang. Okay, seven hell, a seven. All right, we're gonna. Start off with a bomber on the left side. Alright, we. Alright, so we're beating him on Elixir right now. He has to be full on Elixir, yeah, okay. Um. I'm gonna, I guess, drop those. Can't really. Don't really have many counters to the dragon. Because uh, not many of my troops actually. Okay, yeah, very, very surprising. They're going to actually drop that if he freezes. Please don't freeze, please don't freeze, please don't freeze, please don't freeze, please don't. Oh, the balloon, what? My tower was, oh my god, the tower was targeting the dragon and the balloon got to it. Alright, that's not very good, guys. Uh, come on, alright, let's start with a hog rider and a bomber here. We do have our free spell, though. I know he's gonna, oh, he didn't drop a cannon. We're gonna freeze that, though. I love dropping a hog rider and then, and then a bomber and then they freeze spell and when they drop barbarians. Because really, the barbarians just really, just do no bueno. Alright, we're going to counter his knight with our knight, and it looks like he, um, come on, take out that last barbarian. Alright, uh, he's not going to get that much, he's just going to get one slap off with that, uh, thing there, um, alright, he's going to start off with his dragon loon, that's what he really likes, the dragon loon push. And to be honest, it's not a good push, so, I guess, just let him use it for now. Going to drop. I am going to drop an Inferno Tower. Uh, the Spirit Goblins will get to our tower. We're gonna drop those spirit, those spear things, just to help out. Um, he does have the balloon alive, so he might. He's probably gonna. Dang. All right, this one is definitely not looking good for us. Okay, we're gonna drop another one of those. We're gonna drop another free spell. Really, I. He knows that we're gonna drop the free spell. He's the. He, there's no way he's surprised by that or anything. Um. All right, our tower sitting at 700 hit points. Um, come on. All right, his tower is at... Ah, oh, dang, it's close. It's close. He he did... All right, if that balloon... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't, don't get to it. No, 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 no. 84. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There goes 37 trophies. Oh, no. No. Dang it. All right, so we, we have to go out again now. Oh, come on, another level 8, 130 trophies below us. So if we lose this, this is like a minus, a minus 50 or like minus 40. So hopefully we don't lose. I'm going to start off with a knight right there. He's actually going to drop an elixir pump in a very good position, but it is okay. We're going to drop that, the hog rider like that. Oh, the princess. The princess is the ultimate counter against my deck, guys. 
literally if they drop a princess i basically lose almost every single time just the, the prince it's uh, i mean the princess uh all right level one princess that's not too bad uh if he doesn't lead it with anything we'll, we'll just drop the knight on top of it all right he dropped that as we dropped our knight all right we're gonna just drop the bomber just to help out or what's he gonna do drop a prince prince that's going to gonna drop the hog rider actually I, I literally just cannot drop anything. I have nothing else to drop. Um, and right, we're gonna drop that. This is not a good placement. Very not a good placement. Uh, okay. That one princess. God, that princess is annoying. Alright, we're just gonna have to arrow the princess. She's probably gonna drop the minion horde right now. If I was him, I would just drop the minion horde down the lane. Pekka. Alright, so Pekka can just drop our inferno tower. Oh god, that is not good. We don't have our arrows. This is this is awful. This is oh my god, he's gonna three crown us. Oh my god. I, I have nothing to defend. I, I literally just like basically can drop nothing right now. Just hopefully he doesn't three crown us and then Oh my god that Pekka. Oh guys, <laughs> this is not good. I guess if we lose we're gonna have to go out again because guys I'm not ending on a loss, but our King Tower is at twelve eleven hundred. Yeah, he's probably going to drop that. Yup, very, very not surprising. And we are going to get our arrows ready, though. Really? He's not going to... Um, I will freeze you if you freeze me. Alright, he has the double prince combo, of course. That is just... Just our luck. Um, I'm going to drop that. And... Double Prince, Double Prince, gonna drop to drop the Defending Hog Rider. I probably rarely ever do that, but it's just so needed right now. I'm going to freeze that. Oh, guys, we might... No. Yes, the Hog Rider. The Hog Rider is a lot... The Hog Rider is being... No, 88. 88. Where we have to... Oh, there was no need for those arrows. Oh, the arrows. Oh, the arrows might screw us up. Okay, I know he's probably gonna push for our King Tower. No, he's not. All right, I'm not sure why he's not, though. We're gonna drop that knight and then drop the hog rider and then draw and then right, we still have that I'm going to free spell that going to basically just arrow that down because then of course god this guy's min this guy's deck is very very annoying going going to just have to drop that um yeah this is over dang guys oh this is not a good oh my god oh my god Trying to showcase our deck and we got wrecked. Oh my god. Minus 40 trophies. Oh, we're, we just... Oh, Alright, well, we got our crown chest, guys. See anything good in there? Just gonna speed right through it. Alright. We, we, we have to do one more, guys. We cannot end off on a loss. You guys know. God, that was just not good. Alright, come on. Alright, level 8. About 20 trophies above us. And we have an all probably the worst starting deck that I could have on this with these cards. Um, do that, and then do that, and then might get the hog rider. The hog rider can take for those. All right, I, I don't know who's gonna drop. Oh my god, he made a big mistake. He made a very very big mistake. Yeah, guys, guys, that is really look, at, guys. When they drop the zap, it will not kill minions. Just tank, just l put something to tank the minions, and guys. That'll happen. All right. So we got one in his tower within seconds. Should we do it? Should we just do it to be a troll? Nah. I'll, uh, I'll let him live with it. Um, very, very called for there. Uh, is he going to freeze? Oh, I actually thought he would freeze. All right. We're going to drop actually our knight just to kind of do damage. Because I don't want him to just collect a ton of elixir and just somehow come at us. All right. And then he's actually gonna tank, and the bomber's actually gonna do like pretty good damage. Actually, get four hits off on his tower. Um, bomb tower. I'm not sure if he has arrows. He has the zap. I know he has a zap, but I'm not sure he has arrows. I'm just gonna just drop that just right on top of him. And then we'll drop that and that and that. Our our hog rider down the lane is going to get his tower very low. 500 hit points on his right tower. Our both of our towers are standing 
Guys, if as long as we don't play this one dumb, this one is in the back. We're just gonna drop an inferno on that hog rider just because you know we can. I do not know that it was a free spell. Oh god. Oh god, I'm just uh, I have to drop the knight. I'm not gonna I cannot let that hog rider get too much damage. Alright, eleven hundred hit points. Uh I think guys, if we're just gonna uh, I think we're just gonna defend, 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 and then if he does push hard on us, we'll just grab his tower and then We'll be okay. Uh, he does have like several defenses actually. Oh, he first time he's used that, and I played that one awfully, 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 just awful. Actually, our uh, kind of funny. Our hog rider our, is actually in it one hit off. All right, 300 hit points. Okay, just gonna drop those arrows. Um, I know he has the free spell. Yeah, he he has to drop the free spell, but uh, all right. Opponent left the match. <laughs> Guys, he left the match. Oh, the question is, can we get the three crown in time? 20 seconds left. Uh, yeah, we'll get the three crown. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He just, he just race quit. All right. Well, we'll shoot him a good game, guys. I guess three crowns. That is a way to end off the uh, episode there. God, that was just awful, awful battling. Guys, yeah, guys, this is really the... Oh, God. I just, just... Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a uh, with a Clash of Clans video. Uh, yes. Yeah, so peace out. Clash on. Hopefully you guys are doing better. I right, just, just just see you guys tomorrow.